I'm going to pay attention to only the four type. Um, probably the th- the top three, which is account for nearly 99 percent. The bottom PPC, that is your posterior polar cataract, though it's relatively rare, but uh, it is equally important to know. So the first and foremost, your uh, nuclear sclerosis, basically the cloudiness happens in the nucleus and the majority of the cases, the central portion of the lenses get involved. And when it comes to cortical spokes, the swelling is happen in the cortex capsule in the form of a spoke or a wedge. So thereby the mid periphery or the peripheral cloudiness do set it up. And uh, the other age related cataract type is your posterior subcapsular. The opacification happens in a posterior capsule, often seen relatively younger and younger individuals may may happen with a steroid user, diabetes and myopic. So probably we need to pay attention to the PAC cataract. The reason is what was estimated by year 2050, we are in 2020 from three decades from now, the world population, majority of them, either they will get diabetes or they will get myopia. The myopia prevalence is getting increased. Diabetic prevalence also getting increased. So thereby the cataract prevalence also going to increase because these are all the risk factor. And it is equally important and it is going to be visually significant. In a posterior polar cataract, though it is relatively less common, but the problem is uh, it is a kind of a congenital type and they do develop over a period of time. Uh, they may, the, the uh, patient or the subject may experience in an early walk of their life with the cataract symptom or they may get uh, this problem maybe around the uh, their late phase of their life. So all these four types are equally important, but the top three are very, very critical and they are going to uh, uh, you know, develop in 99% of the world population. And they are invariably uh, age-related and also other reasons 